this product review, we're going to look at a Solar Geyser Retrofit. Solar geysers are extremely popular in the market today as it genuinely reduces the client's electricity bill on a monthly basis. But unfortunately, there are some disadvantages. In this video, I'm going to show you a product that works as effectively as a solar geyser, but without any of the disadvantages. So let's first have a look at how a normal solar geyser works. Now a solar geyser normally has vacuum tubes that are connected to the geyser and the geyser would be connected to the hot water side of the tap. Now a solar geyser would use the heat of the sun to heat the water in the vacuum tubes and that hot water would then go through to the geyser and voila you've got hot water coming out of the tap. Now as good as what a solar geyser is there are some drawbacks to installing a solar geyser. Normally a solar geyser is quite expensive and the installation is normally quite costly as there's extra plumbing needed to remove your normal geyser and install a solar geyser. One of the other drawbacks are that you cannot switch off the sun. So if the sun is shining on those tubes, the water temperature will continuously increase. Now as a safety precaution, solar geysers normally have a pressure relief valve to prevent the geyser from exploding. But this creates wastage in water. Another drawback is that the tubes often start leaking as the seals are made from rubber. And over a period of time, the rubber deteriorates in the sun and again creates leakage, which creates wastage, which is also a wastage of money. So let me show you how a solar geyser retrofit overcomes the drawbacks of a conventional solar geyser. Now a normal geyser would use the grid to heat up the water. The grid would be connected to an element. Electricity flows through the element which creates heat inside of the geyser that creates hot water. Now if you were to do a retrofit, there's no plumbing required. All you have to do is replace the element with an AC and DC element. You would also simply need to use solar panels and connect the solar panels to the DC side of the element. A control box, an MPPT controller and a display would also be required for the system to work efficiently. The display communicates with the control box as well as the MPPT controller. Now instead of using the heat of the sun to generate hot water, a solar geyser retrofit uses sun rays to generate electricity. That electricity in the form of DC goes through to the element which heats up the water. Now if the geyser has already reached its maximum temperature of the water, the MPPT controller would just simply switch off to prevent the electricity from going through to the geyser element. And in that way, you prevent any water wastage from occurring. Now in a cloudy or rainy day where there are not enough sun rays to generate electricity for the geyser element, you can see whether there's hot water or not. And if you do require hot water, with a push of a single button, you can use the grid for electricity that goes through to the geyser element to generate hot water. This overriding function would only be necessary when there's rainy or cloudy days and you can see that the water temperature is too low for your requirements. So the benefits with having a solar geyser retrofitted is first that it is easy to install without any plumbing changes required. This ease of installation makes the installation cost far less than a conventional solar geyser. You have significant electricity savings whether it is summertime or wintertime as you don't need the heat of the sun to generate hot water, but simply sun rays. No water wastage as the system will prevent over temperature of the water. The water temperature can be clearly observed at all times. The water temperature can be easily adjusted according to the client's individual needs. Client will still be able to use the grid in rainy weather if need be. Now the components required to do a solar geyser retrofit is as follows. You would need three 345 watt solar panels. 
you'll need a solar panel mounting structure for the three solar panels. You'll need solar cable, a DC fuse box, WM4 solar connectors, a geyser-wise AC and DC element, a geyser flange, depending on what type of geyser you have, a geyser-wise MPPT controller, a geyser-wise TSE controller, which consists of the geyser-wise control box, the geyser-wise display, the geyser-wise thermostat probe, and the instruction manual. The fact that this product uses sun rays instead of the heat of the sun, it is shown to be extremely effective throughout the year. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and more importantly, that you've learned something. If you did, please give me the thumbs up below. If you want to be notified of any future videos, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you for watching.